uh, we're back here again. What's good, everybody? My name is Simpistotle, and I've got yet another Scorch Silver video for you. But uh, unfortunately, I somehow made the boo-boo of losing the audio file for the actual video of me having an actual playthrough of this. So we're going to be doing the same thing that I did last time. I'm going to be... I, I don't... Listen, y'all. I don't know how I lose. Um, Well, I think it's because... I be recording like mad late at night while well, around like 10 something at night. And then I always tell myself, you know what? I'm going to just edit the audio tomorrow morning, see what's going on with that. And then tomorrow morning comes through and then I, and I'm like hyped to record another video. And then I already forget that I didn't edit the audio file or something like that, but I lost the audio file and we're here. We're going to be reacting to the video itself. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. I may upload another episode right after this one if anything hope y'all enjoy see you soon well let's see let's see how this shit went through well last episode i did leave y'all on a good cliffhanger man this shit would have banged bro if i had that if i had that audio file man fuck boss dot 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 okay so your persistence certainly lives up to the rumors this bitch was so hard to fight bro but y watch y'all gonna be real shook when y'all find out who she is fortunately we are always one step ahead cap then my brother pops in hey assholes he think he lands for real, boy. Hold up. I don't know how you managed to get here before me, nigga. Oh, he was shook that we got there before him. And I was like, man, nigga, of course, because you was way too slow, bro. I don't know what type of shortcuts you took. His ass probably went underground and then he got lost. It's going to be really tough to make good on my bet with you, man, bitch. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I honestly forgot all about the bet because my brother, he's weak, bro. He, you know, a little AI type shit. I suppose I should introduce myself. Now, when it comes to this female right here, it's Ariana, bruh. Ariana the entire time. I did not know. Well, Ariana, y'all do know Ariana was an admin for Team Rocket, but now she formed Team Phoenix right after Team Rocket fell off because of Red nearly 20 years ago, unfortunately. I wonder who was the one that beat Team Rocket 20 years ago. But then some brat popped up from Pallet Town and clapped the shit out of Giovanni, ruining everything for Team Rocket. Taking down Team Rocket overnight? Wait, after emerging from Pallet Town? Hold up, what, what type of One Piece shit? <laughs> then our Giovanni left us, she says, with such sadness, consumed by a profound sense of uncertainty and doubt. Giovanni himself disbanded Team Rocket and vanished from thin air, from the earth and the world and my life. Damn, divorced you right there just because he couldn't like clap back a kid? I mean, I wouldn't lie. I'm not going to lie to you. If I lost all my money like that, all them millions, all them fucking like millions I spent on the projects of bringing up Team Rocket, I would have did the same shit. I'm not, I won't, I'll, I'll give it to you like that. Without Giovanni's guidance, Team Rocket was just an empty husk of what it used to be. That's for Celebi. Oh, yeah. So she was going to try to use Celebi to go back in time and to stop, um, um, and to stop red yeah she's gonna use celebi to go back in time and stop red but i was like yeah shane wasn't hearing that that man said blah 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 i ain't trying to hear that shit then he had the audacity to say don't you ever shut up you old hag both yeah she was shook real shook that boy said ain't nobody came over here to hear your damn sob story you got damon right over there looking like a, he still looks like a stripper bro i'm not gonna lie I guess he's probably Ariana's private stripper, if anything, the way that nigga's dressed up, bro. Then you got the two mad scientists right there. How they... Look at Celebi, bro. I'm not even going to pay attention to what that bitch is saying. But look at Celebi. It looks like they beat the shit out of Celebi. So she says, activate the machine. The scientist says, yes, ma'am. Like the bot he is. Oh, shit. The machine has been activated, and now we are going back in time to go face the hardest battle of our fucking time. And y'all know how this whole going back in time shit is, bro. That shit took a long time for it to go back in time. So I don't know. I, well, they did say they was going like 20 years back in time. I, I wanted to say back in time. Like, I, I, I realized I was saying it like way too much. Like, <laughs> why did I do that right there? I, and we're back in Pallet Town. What the hell just happened? How did we get outside? And where are we? Wait, we're in Pallet Town. Think you don't know Pallet Town? Some small town? That town is called Pallet Town. Wait, you say you experienced something like this before? Yeah, wait, oh yeah. Well, this is quite the surprise. There she go, bro. I was expecting, I wasn't expecting the two of you to get drawn to the past. Selby's doing, perhaps? 
No matter, you children need to be taught some manners anyways. And here, before she takes down Red, we can't we come up. Celebi threw us out there first. We over here to protect Red. I don't know why Red. I don't know if Red just now, um, if she went back in time to the point where Red is just starting out, or if she went back in time to when Red finished everything. Well, no, it's probably like before that. But then we have to pick our fucking parties, bro. I wanted to just use my regular team of six, and I didn't want to help with this. Wait, I fucked that up. But anyways, I didn't really want to use this man's Pokemon and shit. I didn't want to use, because I couldn't trust, like, these three dickheads to, to be off by themselves. They all work together in unison as a team. But I said fuck it and went ahead and chose Hong Green, Shibuya, and Shink Lee because they're, they're my heavy hitters, if anything. And Damon, I don't remember what, I, but I know his, his Pokemon was ass, bro. He had a Kruko. Yeah, they was pure ass. Like, if y'all know the definition of ass, and you put the definition of shit at the same time with this man Damon's team, not Damon, Shane's team, that's exactly what it was, bro. So, she sent out Grimmsnarl. Well, no, she sent out Honchkrow. He sent out Grimmsnarl. You know, I got the Hong Green Kruko Dial. Team going crazy. <laughs> and... I immediately send out Shink Lee so he could take care of the Hong Green. Well, the Haunch Crow. Haunch Crow uses Brave Bird on me, gets hit with a recoil, has leftovers, and I say fuck it and use Discharge. Well, no, I use Charged Up. Charge myself all the way up. And I'm about to use Discharge right here too because Crocodile. You know, I was smart a little bit, you feel me? Crocodile right here is a goddamn ground type, right? If I use Discharge and that bitch hit the entirety of the field itself he's not gonna get affected by that shit so i'll charge up real quick right boom 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 got the special defense up you know special attack kind of goes off this bitch sends out a dragon type i say fuck it let me use that shit still he uses u-turn almost fucks this man up i that was really gonna be bad and she sends out a vile plume right after bro shit really pissed me off but he gonna use like knock off well, she gonna use knockoff. Takes the black sludge off her uh, grimy poison dash. I use discharge right here. Zoom. Bah. Paralyzed the ass. That didn't do shit to her, to him. And that didn't do shit to him. So I was like, damn, really? And I just used thunderbolt. I guess I was like, fuck it. He used thunderbolt on this little nigga. He used flamethrower. That didn't. Thunderbolt didn't do shit to him, so I was like, damn, who should I send out next, bro? And over here, I was starting to regret a lot of stuff, bro. I poison powdered him, and then I was left by myself. This bitch used Fire Blast. Hong Green was gone. Shibuya had to come out next. I forgot Grimmsnarl was a poison, or well, was a fairy type, right? This nigga gonna use Dark Pulse. He used Play Rough. Shibuya is almost out of there. Heavy Slam. Okay, that took that bitch out. But I don't think I had any potions, did I? I'm not sure, bit. Anyways, uh, Shell Bell. I forgot I had that shit. But I, ob I obviously lost this fight, so give me one second. All right, so upon trying to go back into the Ariana fight, because I, I lost terribly, uh, I went to go heal up, and then boom, bitch, I ran right into Ryaku of all mods, my nigga. Yo, I was so shook when I seen this right cool boy. I was like, oh my god, my subscribers are not gonna believe the fact they literally won't believe the fact that I ran into this right cool of all mons about of nowhere. So I caught that bitch. I was like, damn, this is gonna be perfect. Having this nigga having a legendary, whole legendary on the team, my nigga. Let me catch him real quick. So I ended up catching him. And well, I ended up catching it because you know ain't got no ain't got no pronouns, you feel me? So I ended up catching it and I realized that Raikou is just a legendary version of Shink Lee, basically, because it learned the it literally learned the um the same <clears throat> it literally learned the same moveset as Shink Lee, except they had like one fucking like good move. So I was like, what? Bitch, hold on, let me go grab this Raikou real quick. Alrighty, so rematch time. We got Krugodile and we got Kuyoshi, who's out here, big Raikou, level 64 and everything. He's getting ready to take down that goofy looking um, um haunch girl. I say let me use discharge right here since you know that bit is a um 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 
ground type this bitch seeing me trying to use that shit use sucker punch this man used special defense because they see, they got shook after seeing the right coup let that man rip boom almost took his ass out paralyzed this goofy ass and that didn't affect him we all know that and then we i paralyzed the both of them nigga and then i was like what that's crazy let me use this charge again that man got paralyzed boom boom vop zap 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 bang bitch that boy hunchcro is out for a count that nigga he only got one sucker punch in because he's a sucker anyways i was talking mad shit right here i believe uh or did i afk no I, yeah i was talking mad shit and then he sends out uh the hydragon right i say fuck it let me use another one of this shit this nigga kuyoshi's about to die i say yeah let me use this shit on him i let them take out kuyoshi because i had like revival herbs and shit so i could have used that on him i also brought out moron too so moron could use ice beam on this dickhead right here scolipede i forgot that bitch was a thing he uses earthquake almost takes this nigga out ground type move makes him levitate yeah 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 that bitch is confused let's see and he managed to use outrage on this man rest in peace goodbye all right let's see let's see let's see i used ice beam on hype on hydragon and did little to no damage i think it's because of the fact that it's like special def the special defense light screen shit was still up so i got tight and i tried to use another one i forgot that bitch was still there using his stupid ass earthquake and the nigga died and then i used this strat right here i started bringing everybody back to life i made the mistake before and then brought all my mods all all my brother's mods back to life and i still lost the battle and because my mods were dead and shit but i did a smart choice right here bringing that nigga back because they don't do no damage to this nigga i forgot that bitch had a sneeze or two so i did crazy this was like a crazy strat right here because my brother he you know he's ai stupid as fuck doesn't know what the fuck he's doing um i just spammed the shit ton of these shits brought my mods back took him out and then they took oh wait bitch i was already down to kuyoshi so i had to you know revive a couple of more niggas brought more around back up a little bit brought uh his kruko dial back because the kruko dial did a lot of damage but you know what no 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 no. i brought the houndoom back because houndoom has flamethrower i use extra sensory because i'm too wise too smart with the psychic type i forgot this bitch was a poison type hit that bitch that nigga is gone um let me see Valplume is still up houndoom is right there i think i was celebrating the fact that we won right here i think we, we, we won right here right hopefully because he's about to use flamethrower on his ass and you're cooked literally look flamethrower beat bitch easily oh wait i forgot she still had hydra guard but hydra guard is poison got dug into stone i don't know who set that stone trap up but i sent back hong green uh let me see that didn't work i don't know why i tried to use extra sensory on that little nigga but i used magical leaf took him out and she was done no this can't be she says giovanni is giovanni still alive bitch? she look good bro i'm not gonna lie she really look good this isn't over yet brats blah 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 damon's still tight i got my 6700 i said get up out my face no celebi brought us right back to the present well, well, well. PM? What the fuck? We we used this felt like an interstellar moment. I'm not gonna lie. We spent all that time over in the past. But anyways, we're back in the um in the present. Years of research and careful planning. All destroyed. All for what? To be ruined by a couple of children? Yeah, baby girl. This is the same thing like in Kanto, just in Johto. Just give it up already, he says. Then earthquake about a Noah. Boom! Our pops pops out of nowhere and says, I rushed over as soon as I got the call. But it looks like the battle's already over. Y'all are not gonna believe who Ariana is, bro. Ariana herself. Shane, nigga, you both did well, our dad says. I'll take it from here. Pushes us out the way. Big ass for alligator. It's been a long time, mother. Ariana. 
is our grandmother what oh my god so the champion himself has decided to grace us with his presence she's salty as shit look at the face cute makeup though. i'm not gonna lie she got that little nice kimono gyal them makeup um silver deer you should be on my side rather than being a champion i don't know how to, i don't know how our pops is a champion maybe he beat gold who knows when giovanni left he told me he was gonna reform team rocket uh huh. Himself, and used the full potential of his subordinates. He would have taken us with him if he if um if he thought we had any potential. Power is the only thing that man ever wanted, not a family. Our dad says, just accept it and move on. But Ariana refused, bro. She was really salty. I will never give up on Giovanni. That is really in love. Start the time machine back up for Ralligator. Dad is about to use something crazy. Beam! That bitch used a head smash. Well, it's called head smash or shell smash. Celebi is free. Beam! And that boy out of there said thank you and dipped. This can't be. Why does fate insist on hindering me at every single step? Oh, she's about to crash out. Damon, he kind of looks like it's over, mother. Leave the past where it belongs and focus on the family standing right in front of you. Giovanni may not come back, but you still have a chance to connect with your grandchildren. Now, super sentimental moment. My grandchildren. No. It's too late for that now. Initiate Operation Scorched Earth. Y'all, bro, when I seen this shit, oh my goodness. Scorched Earth? What's that? He taps some shit. And then these niggas right here. Beam. Bam. Mm. What? They blew up the goddamn. <laughs> then you got this nigga right here. Oh shit. Nah, nah, nah. Ho O came down to Eric Ecrutiac. I think shit's. City and tore that bitch up. My nigga set this shit ablaze, bro. Everything was on fire. Hee hee hee, she says. We rigged the bell tower with explosives years ago as a little insurance policy. Damn, pure evil. Now Ho is going on a rampage on them citizens, them poor citizens, bro. I just rescued the them cute ass Komodo girls. Um, now all of Soto, yeah, not all of Soto, now all of Jodo had to suffer because his mother. Is throwing a tantrum like a child, man. The police came through, said Silver, sir. Thanks for your help. We'll take it from here. Damn, scientists, they standing right there. Shook as hell, bro. They not going to be able to see their kids ever working for Team Phoenix, bro. This, is the, this isn't the last time you'll see a Team Phoenix. I guarantee it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it for the cop. Save it for the judge. Uh, Wait, no. Save it for the cops. Boom, boom, boom. All in unison. They could have just fucking ran. Why the fuck? Wait, hold on. Why the police ain't just go after them from behind? Never mind. Because they could have just really <laughs> dipped on them like it was nothing. But, like, what the fuck? They they really think they was going to be that? They really trust that trustworthy. That's crazy. Good work handling Team Phoenix. It's good to see you two again. That's what my pops say. Unfortunately, we don't have time to catch up. Damn. We'll have to take care of this Ho-Oh situation as soon as possible. Shane backs up. He gets in his feelings all of a sudden. He say, you show up late to the action. And after so many years of being away from home, then you expect us to be glad to see you, bitch? Nigga can help you with that bullshit. That whole old shit, bro. Fuck I look like, bro. I'm going back. I only came here to take care of what these jerks did to me, bro. Locking me up in that cell. I'll see y'all fuck niggas later. Shane, dad says. Shane, he just walks off. That boy. He got your attitude, nigga. You think just because you got that suit and tie, you something? Uh, nigga, I'm going to Equity City. I need you to go to World Islands. There, you will find the legendary Pokemon Lugia. If there's anything capable of calming Ho-Oh's rampage, perhaps Lugia can. Yep, that's a fact. That is a fact. So now we have to set off to go find Lugia. And he says something about I need you to go find Lugia on World Island and awaken his ass. Oh, and you'll need this, too. 
Hey, 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 we got dive. Now we are able to dive all over the place. Now with the Lugia shit, I fucked up on finding Lugia, so I might cut the, I might. So let me see what the world islands was like, and then I will come back to y'all real quick. And I'll probably end the episode off right there and then drop the new episode. All right, so we made it to World Island and I'm going to end the episode off right over here because here I just got lost and I kept telling myself that I needed the HM waterfall in order to be able to like do something over here, which really wasn't the case. Uh, I just didn't know what the like puzzle was and I didn't like I couldn't find the spot where Lugia was at. So I had to watch a whole video. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Sorry, it was like in this format. That's why I'm going to upload another video right after this one. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. <laughs> We'll catch y'all in the next one. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, subscribe for some more Pokemon action and other gaming action as well, too. I don't know why I said all that weird shit. Ugh. You know what? I'll catch y'all later. Peace.